apples gone off. Thank you. Oh my god, it's going off again. I just realised something. My thing's gone. Not going off anymore. That's weird. That has been going off non-stop. The um, LED light. and I thought I would come back here again because last time I came I had some really interesting results so I, if you haven't got to that one I will tell you a bit about the history of the place before I start my investigation so let's get into it Godstow Abbey was built on what was then an island between the streams running into the River Thames. The site was given to the founder, Edith Fien, in 1133 by John of St. John. Edith was the widow of a man named William, and she had been living alone in Bincy in Oxfordshire. She then decided to found a group of nuns. She became known as Edith, of Winchester. Also, her name was also called Ediva, and she was said to have had a vision telling her to settle near Oxford and wait for a token from God bidding her to build a place in his name. She dwelt for some time at Bincy until one night she heard a voice bidding her to go where a light from heaven reached the ground and there built a nunnery for 24 gentle women. She looked north and saw a light over God's star. Edith went to Henry I and told him of her vision and the king approved of her new foundation. She was then granted the land on the island in the River Thames by John of St. John, the local landowner, and she established the Benedictine nunnery dedicated to St. Mary and St. John the Baptist. The abbey was enriched by a further grant of land by St. John, and the church itself was finished by 1139. It was dedicated in the presence of King Stephen, the Archbishop of Canterbury, and several other bishops. The royal family was also a major benefactor of Godstow Abbey, but leading nobles followed their example, and Godstow was always a nunnery for aristocratic ladies and women from many noble families in the southwestern England became nuns there. They would be women who would maybe not want to marry, or maybe wanted to learn as education was also taught there. Now on to Fair Rosamond. Tradition says that Rosamond de Clifford, Henry II's mistress, was educated at Godstow Abbey. She then supposedly retired to the Abbey to live out the last few years and then she died and was buried in 1176 inside the nunnery. That tradition though may be based on a misreading of documentary evidence. What we know for sure is that Rosamond did die at Woodstock and was buried at Godstow, so it made sense to be buried here at Godstow Abbey since it was nearby the holy place for the ladies of her class. There is another story though, that Queen Eleanor, in her jealousy, murdered 
the poor, fair Rosamond. But there is no evidence either to suggest or support this tale is true. What we do know is that in 1176, Henry sent building materials to the Abbey and gave it the income from two churches, presumably to make the Abbey church a more suitable place for his mistress's tomb. However, again, this is just speculation. In 1180, Walter de Clifford, Rosamond's ambitious father, mentions in a deed that his wife and daughter were both buried at Godstow. From this evidence, we can then be sure that Rosamond was buried here, but whether she had any other ties to the Abbey, we can never know for sure. In 1191, Bishop Hugh of Lincoln is supposed to have visited the Abbey, and he reported seeing Rosamond's tomb beside the high altar and was being treated like a shrine of a saint. Which, let's be honest, is not surprising when you consider that she's the king's mistress. Bishop Hugh, though, was apparently not happy seeing the reverence given to Rosamond de Clifford's grave, and he apparently ordered the body to be exhumed and reburied in the chapter house. A legend grew up that Rosamond's spirit was now disturbed by this move, and it is now said that her ghost is said to wander amid the abbey ruins late at night. And the ghost of a grey lady has been seen walking around the grounds of the ruined nunnery. Many people believe her to be Rosamond Clifford. The nunnery itself was dissolved in 1539, or potentially 1540, and granted to Henry VIII's physician, George Owen, who converted it into a house, became badly damaged in the Civil War. In 1616, it was sold to Sir John Walter and descended into his family until the 17th century, where then it just fell into ruins. It is said, if you go to Godstone Nunnery at sunrise on a May morning, you will hear the ghostly sounds of nuns singing or chanting as they would have done many hundreds of years previously. I'm making my way towards the chapel. Um, don't know how much you can see, but here is the outside of the wall of Godstow Abbey and when I was last here it was extremely interesting because I was here in a group um, and there was about five of us and I put my recorder down I basically went by myself into the chapel and you can hear in the recording I'll play it to you you can hear in the recording what it sounds like uh, a metallic, like a metallic banging, uh, like as if someone is pulling chains and it's really weird. So that's why I wanted to come back. Uh, it is supposed to be haunted, this place. So that's, yeah, that's why I wanted to come back here because I just thought it'd be really interesting to see if I get anything tonight. So I'm going to start off at where the old chapel is. At Godstow, Godstow Abbey. Um, if anyone would like to talk to me, then please do come towards me. So come towards this little device that's in my hand. And if you've got anything that you would like to say, then talk to you. I'm actually going to go dark because there's a little lamp here. 
witch. It don't mean you any harm. It don't want to hurt you in any way. Is there anything you would like to say? Um, there was some weird noises. <laughs> Session three. Oh, session three. Um, if anyone would like to talk to me, see, looks like weird noises. That's fighting noise. Yeah. Come towards the device with my hand. Then I can move it around. No, I wasn't moving. I what I did was I put it down on the on the thing and I left it there. Oh, really? Yeah. So these noises aren't me. I wasn't moving it. I'm actually going to go from dark. But it sounds like someone's moving it. Because these are the plans here. They mean you. Yeah. See? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 What the hell is that? That is a weird one. What is that? Can you rewind it again? I think it was a rewind. Yeah. What is that? Can anyone explain that? Yeah. It's like Come on, this is this fight. That's a weird one. It's like someone's scraping something. Yeah, that's... So, session session three at Godstow, Godstow Abbey. Um, if anyone would like to talk to me, then please do come towards me and come towards this little device that's in my hand. And if you've got anything that you would like to say, then please do please do speak into it. I'm actually going to put this down too. There you go. And I'm actually going to go all dark as well because there's a little lantern here which is kind of lighting everything up and making it look really nice in there. So I'm just going to turn that off. So I've gone dark. There's the, you can see that there. So if there's any spirits here who would like to talk or would just like to communicate or just let me know that you're here then please do come forward i don't mean you any harm i don't want to hurt you in any way if there's anything you would like to say the old entrance and there is i think jupiter and Venus, I think. The moon is also out. It's kind of a freaky, freaky looking place. So this is inside the old chapel. I've got my cables, so I'm putting them down as I speak. And this is where I got the weird, like metallic, um, just want to make sure that they're all going. Yep, fantastic. This is where I got the weird metallic sound last time I was here. Um, and basically, I crouched down sort of like over here <laughs> by myself. Put my LED light. Oh, crikey. Uh, thank you. Didn't expect that to go off because I was <laughs> getting close to it, but I didn't touch it. That was not me. Thank you ever so much. Thank you for setting that off. Um, I actually, yeah, I bought these things here for you. That's interesting, that's now also going off and I'm just standing still. Can you tell me who's here? My name is Corrine. And as you can see, I'm rather klutzy. And I have some devices here. Now, you might recognize me because I've actually been here before. I came back in 2019 and I was with a couple of people. So I'm gonna put my recorder down. And last time I was here, I had a weird sound. So, like a, a, a metallic sound. So if that was you, thank you. I'm gonna ask if you could do that again for me. I'm gonna put it down here on the stone. Like that. So I'm gonna ask you to go up to it if you can. Look at that, that's 
looking lovely. And if you want to, speak into it and you can make it so I can hear you. Oh, there's a little lion up there. That's really cute. <laughs> to be fair, this looks exactly the same as when I last came. But there's a bit more deterioration. Obviously. So please don't be afraid of me. I mean you no harm. I'm not here to hurt you or cause you any offence. All I want to do is just see if you're here. This keeps going off now. If you like the LED light, please feel free to try some of the others. I bought them specially for you. Because last time I was here, I didn't have any of this. All I had was my recorder. So I had really just basic, basic equipment. So now I have a lot more equipment, which is nice. Oh, I did also have my EMF actually, my EMF detector. But other than that, that is all I had here. Look at this beautiful old beam. I just love that. It's just centuries old. I put my little green torch down there. You can play around with that as well if you would like. Um, so if you're here, could you make a noise for me? Or can you come towards this device in my hand and make that go off as well? Or you can make the torch, turn it off if you want. Or you can make the capitals go off. So there's quite a little selection for you to do here. Or you can just go and talk to me. I mean, what was life like for you here at the monastery? Ooh. I just got a spike then. Um, you can't see it with my night vision. Hang on. So this is spiking now. Thank you. And there's nothing electrical in here. It's not my phone. Because my phone isn't here. How it, this is what happened last time. It actually spiked last time as well. I remember that. So maybe there is some electrical wires like maybe underneath the place. Or... There's something here that's making this go off because I remember last time I was here. This was also going off. So I'm actually going to debunk this, I think, because I had the same reaction last time. Just make sure. Oh, did I not turn that on? I could have sworn I did. I'm going to move this one, actually. So that's the pink one. I'll fly it over there. That was me, obviously, that just did that. So what was daily life like for you and the monastery? Did you enjoy your life here? If you did, can you make one of the capitals go off for me? Or could you say something really loud and I can try and hear you? Or make a noise for me. Like knock on something. Let me know in the comments below guys if you hear anything. That's me. Please don't be afraid of me. What languages did you learn here? Did you learn French? Latin? 
Bonjour. I don't know what la hello is in Latin. This is interesting that this is going off, but nothing else is happening. Like my cables haven't moved. I've not, I'm not moving at this point. I'm literally just here in the corner. And yeah, that's still going off. So it's interesting. That's interesting. It stopped flashing and it's now just on. Oh, no, there we go, flashed. If someone is standing near that, please feel free to use some of the other things that I've brought with me today. That what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move it. I'm going to put it into another place and I'm going to see if it keeps going off the same as it is right now. I think that's the best thing to do. What did you think about King Henry II? Was he good to you here? Who founded this abbey? Can you tell me? And can you tell me what year this abbey was founded? Right, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna move this. So I'm gonna put this over here by my EMF. So I have actually put my EMF down. Yeah, still going off. Coming up with some numbers. So I'm going to put that over here now instead. That's interesting. It's still doing it. I've moved it now from over here to here. And it's still doing the same thing. That's really interesting. <laughs> Thought maybe it might not. Huh. That's weird. So I'm going to ask you to go up to it if you can. So I'm going to ask you to go up to it if you can. So I'm going to ask you to go up to it if you can. setting up I did not have that on camera but my REM pod just went off annoyingly I hadn't set up this either but my REM pod just went off I've set it up over there that's typical my REM pod goes off when I'm not ready <laughs> um thank you if that was you thank you so much for sending that off I appreciate that I know it's really loud it's a really loud noise and it's not very nice. Um, but thank you. Feel free to interact with some of these other ones. They're less noisy. Um, I'm going to put this down. Ooh. So my REM pod is here. Oh, it fell over, I think. I think that's why it went off. Okay, that's debunked. Crikey. Okay, that's debunked. It literally just fell over. <laughs> that's why. 
least I have debunked that now as to why that went off. Oh, Capo's gone off. Thank you. I'm so sorry. Was that really loud for you? I really apologize. I feel bad because that is really loud. Oh my God, it's going off again. Wait, did it fall over again? I don't know. Are you trying to knock it over? Do you not like it? Did it fall over? <laughs> it did fall over. That's really interesting. That's twice now that it's gone off because it's fallen over. But I don't know. That could well be just not paranormal. That could well be just because I've placed it in a place where, you know. So I might just leave it like that <laughs> and see if it goes off again. If there's any nuns here, please don't be shy. My name is Corrine. I just realized something. My thing's gone, not going off anymore. That's weird. That has been going off non stop. The um, LED light. The Look at that. That's really odd. I mean, literally, from setting it up, it's just been going off. I'm still moving. I'm still over here. Let's see. Going off again. Well, because I'm here. I just thought maybe it'd run out of battery or something, but no, still working. That's really odd because it's just now stopped going off. Apart from obviously. Oh! Sorry, I didn't mean to jump there. <laughs> Thank you very much for setting that up for me. I didn't mean to jump. It's just I can't see you. So, thank you. Crikey, my heart just nearly gave out. <laughs> Was there a library here? I like books. If there was, can you go and tell me? On, on the rock over there, I've set up something where you can, I can hear your voice. I am really friendly, I promise. As I said, I'm not here to harm you. I'm not here to hurt you. All I wanna do is just see, see if you're happy and see what your story was here. Like, who were you? It is turned off again now. Interesting. I mean, back in the day, I mean, the options really were you got married or you were sent to a nunnery. As a woman, that's pretty much your role. Unless, of course, you were a queen. So, some people came to the nunnery because they wanted to protect their fortune. Like, um, influential women who had a fortune of their own would come to protect their fortune against, basically against men taking their fortune. Was that something that some of you did here? History is something that really interests me. Really interests me. Because my life now is very, very different to how it was back then. That's always something that intrigues me. Like, what do you see? Do you see as it once was? 
Or do you see it as it is now and this crumbling? And if so, does that make you sad? <gasps> the apple's going off again. Thank you. Thank you so much for making that go off for me. I appreciate that. As I said, I just want to know your story. I just want to know what life is like. I'm sorry, I've got so many questions. And I'm sure you've probably heard these questions before from people who've come here. Wow, the sky is so beautiful. I don't think you can see any of it, but <laughs> there's the moon. Okay, well I'm going to go now. So could you say goodbye to me? You don't have to. But it'd be nice. I'd, I'd like it if you could say goodbye. You can say it into the little device over there for me on the rock. Or you can make one of the cat balls go off. Or you can make the LED light go off over there that you've been doing e all evening. And I thank you. I thank you for allowing me to come here. I don't know if that was my ears playing tricks on me. I thought I just heard something. Okay, well I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna pack up. But I thank you for your time. And I thank you again for talking with me. Last time I was here was back in 2019 and I just wanted to say um, it's amazing to be back here and it's amazing to see how far I have come um, because obviously I re-watched my old video from when I was back here in 2019 to add some parts um, from that and the difference is like night and day and I've realised actually how far I've actually come as a YouTuber so for me this is a lovely little personal journey and this is one of the first places I came to um, to investigate so I love the fact that I've come back and I just want to say thank you so much guys for supporting me on that journey I've got a little bit of a special spot in my heart this place so I really hope that you enjoyed that um, please do like and subscribe and comment and let me know in the comments below if there is anything that you noticed or anything that I may have missed I'm gonna go home I'm gonna review the footage I'm gonna go and have a look and see if I've got anything on that recorder um, but yeah it was an interesting one so I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Please do like and subscribe. And thank you so much for joining me on this very, very cold evening. It's been an amazing evening and it's been a very exciting one. So I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Stay tuned and have a lovely week, guys.